and oh my gosh, here I come. That's me. This is me, and I am not embarrassed about that at all. That is just, that is just fine. I'm at LG's booth at CES, and we're taking a look at some cool future tech including a door with biometric sensors and a mirror that can help you shop for clothes. This ordinary looking wall behind me, that's a door. And we're gonna see how it works. So I'm with Sarah from LG, who's gonna show us how this works and how the door can help you keep your packages secure and use biometric sensors to open and let you in. So we're gonna look at the package stuff first, right? Yeah, yep, Okay, of so let's see how package deliveries work with this door. So if you're a delivery person, you would just come right up to the door and you just press this box right here and it's going to ask you for a QR code. It's also scanning video right now for safety reasons. So you can just hold the QR code right up to the door and it's going to scan specific for that package. You can choose whether it's a regular delivery box, which is going to go down below for your regular packages, or the Fresh Keeper, which is actually for perishable items. It is a refrigerator that can keep your food fresh for a few days for things like grocery deliveries and HelloFresh and things like that. And then you just close them right up and that QR code cannot be used again. So that's pretty cool. So both regular packages and I like the fridge that's built into the door too. Um, okay, and so then the door also helps you get in, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's see how that works. So the door actually knows my face and my hands. So when I step up to the door, it's gonna recognize my face and then ask for my handprint. And it uses the veins in your hand to scan and open. And then you just press the button on the door and it's gonna unlock and let you right into your house. <laughs> that is so cool. That is like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this in sci-fi movies. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So from my understanding, this is a future concept. This is still being developed. So unfortunately yes. you can't run out and buy this right away but there's more cool tricks on the inside of the door, so we're gonna take a look at that. Okay, so, is there any other elements? Uh, we're done with the biometric stuff, right? Like, this stuff will just open? So this opens automatically. There's lights on the side that'll tell you if you have a package inside, and you can just open it because you're on the inside, and then you can access it straight out from inside. Uh, that's cool. It'll also show you what the order is up here, so it displays everything that's gonna be in your order. And once you shut it, it can also tell you about next orders that you might have on the way and where it is in the delivery process. And then you can just hit that home button. Right, so yep. this is a full-on touch screen that shows you a variety of things, sort of like a smart display on the inside of your door, again, of your future spaceship home. <laughs> and so you get your packages here, you can set settings for the Fresh Keeper, and then apparently if there are strangers that are outside, you'll be able to see them, oh, yeah. and you're able to talk to them like a smart doorbell thing. So this is the intercom. It will also pop up if there's an intruder. It shows a video of the door and you can actually talk to them so you don't have to open the door to communicate with whoever's on the other side. So in addition to talking to whoever's at your door and grabbing your packages, this functions as a set of smart home controls and you can hit away to turn your lights off or whatever away settings you have set so that your smart door helps uh, make your home smarter. So thanks, Sarah. This tech is boggling my mind a little bit. And now we're going to go take a look at a mirror that's just as crazy once the door lets me out. There we go. I can leave. <laughs> Here we go. Now I'm taking a look at the LG ThinQ Fit. It's a smart mirror that can help me shop for clothes. It uses 3D cameras here and here to scan my body and figure out my measurements and then I can actually use the avatar that will appear on screen to look at how I look in different outfits. So let's try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna stand on the uh, weight plate and I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. Uh, I've got to agree to all, you know, sign all of my rights away and whatnot. Um, and then picking my style, we're gonna go men's style. Position my body. Okay, I've got to position my body. Stand still for a moment. Oh, and then I gotta hit ready. Bah! All right. It's gonna use the two cameras to figure out and come up with a 3D map, and then it's gonna take a picture of me. Cool, okay, so I did stand still enough. So I'm great at this. Here we go, taking a photo, and I've gotta look at this camera. I'm gonna give it a nice smile. 
All right, and it took a cam, and that is, that is my face. Great stuff. All right, moving on, and now we're gonna get the 3D image scan of me, and these are the measurements. We're just gonna, we're just gonna skip right past that so that we uh, focus on those measurements as little as possible. And oh my gosh, here I come. That's me. This is me, and I am not embarrassed about that at all. That is just. That is just fine. Um, so, okay, so here's the 3D rendering of what I look like. And then I can use this to try on a variety of outfits. Um, and then, you know, I can go in here and um, look at other clothes. And I can switch to a fancy sweater and try on the fancy sweater. And um, try on like different pants, like jeans and even get like a nice coat on. Sure, we're gonna get a nice winter coat on. It's CES, it's January. And then, cool, take a look at this. Um, and then I come back here to the actual lookbook, and there, I've got my fancy new outfit on. The cool thing about this rendering is that it's very interactive to touch. So like I can um, spin myself around and see how everything's looking here. With the fit map, um, I can get a really close look of you know where they're expecting it to be loose versus comfortable and I can even switch to different sizes um, and like try out all that sort of uh, gadgets here um, and I can even switch to different sizes and try that out and then I can tailor based on you know let's say I want to wear some cool fancy brown shoes and then I can adjust the length of the pants and then if I really wanna, you know, go out and it's like flooded or something, then there, I've got this here and then I won't get my pants wet, which is what I'm really looking for. So, here we go. This is, this is me with a, a good deal of style and I can then check out and it tells me the price. And then, so there's a variety of different clothes in here and I can use it to pick a nice outfit and be super stylish. So that was the LG ThinQ Fit, and me and my buddy here can use it to try on all sorts of clothes, which along with that door can be part of your future sci-fi home. Neither of these are gonna be on sale for a little bit. They're prototypes. They're experimental from LG, but it's still a cool vision into what your future home might look like and might be able to do. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe below, and thanks for watching.